Bosses across the metro area have a big decision to make. That is, how many employees should they bring back when things are safe again? And what about mandating vaccines? Joining us now is Carrie Choche with Purple Squirrel Advisors. She deals with employers and employee relations all the time. And Carrie, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, what exactly are employers saying right now? What I'm hearing from a lot of employers, too, is they can't fill open jobs. They can't get people even to apply, so they've got openings that they can't fill, and then they've got their uh, employees that are maybe, they're viewing it as being less productive in, in a remote environment. They want to get them back into the office, and it's, it's very difficult to manage all of those workforce issues with COVID and fear and all these other things as an overlay. Yeah, Carrie, that's a lot of factors all piled into one decision there. When you take a look at the vaccine issue, uh, this can be a sensitive and a touchy one. Uh, what exactly should they be thinking about and how do they frame that? First of all, um, employees have gotten really comfortable working from home. And in many cases, if they feel that they've been very productive, why do I need to come back to work? And then the employer is potentially saying, well, we're requiring vaccination to come back to work. And they don't want to, they may not want either of those things. And so um, meanwhile, the employer may have open positions and now they might be um, scaring off their existing employees, um, you know, who either A, don't want to get vaccinated or B, don't want to come back into the office. And so it's a really difficult, it's a real conundrum for the employers. Well, Carrie, I know you don't have a crystal ball, nor do I, but if you take a look at what's going to happen in the next six months here, in the next year here, when things do get better, uh, where do you see this going? How do you see employers uh, framing this for their employees? Maybe they stage it. Maybe there's a slow, you know, gradual where they say, okay, we're going to bring the vaccinated employees, you know, back into the office if they would like to, to come back and have that be a stage one. And, you know, so I don't, I mean, I'm just not sure what the answer is, but I think all of a sudden going from 100% remote to you must be vaccinated and you must come into the office, that is going to potentially create a, an issue. All right, Carrie, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. And by the way, coming up on Fox 2 News at 5 and 6 on Friday, we're actually doing a segment we call Your Take, where we're taking your questions right to an employment attorney and an HR expert. What are your concerns? What are you worried about when it comes to your rights? You can actually email me, and we can anonymously ask your question. Just email me right away at roop.raj at fox.com.